cooling stations. Hi, I'm Craig Duck, President and Missionary of the Fellowship of Christian Firefighters here with our daily briefing. Today we want to talk about uh, cooling stations. And uh, yeah, it's hot outside. Uh, most firefighters and first responders, you're on the front lines. We understand that uh, as the nation is just gripped with this heat wave that goes uh, from the East Coast to the West Coast uh, through most of the, the uh, uh, midsection. Uh, it is hot. I think I see, saw a couple of uh, temperatures, 112 in the Arizona area. Texas was super hot, uh, 120, I think, in uh, a couple of places. Uh, again, it's hot. And um, firefighters uh, across the country are doing things to help their citizens uh, to stay cool uh, so that they could prevent injury, illness, and uh, death, of course. Uh, there's already been a couple of deaths attributed uh, to this heat. You know, I remember when I first got hired in the Washington, D.C. fire department, uh, the only cooling station we had was uh, there was one adapter in the uh, fire department that uh, you could put on a hydrant. Uh, so as a company officer, you could you could ask for it on a hot day and uh, you just uh, put it on uh, uh, on the front cap, uh, the steamer connection, open up the hydrant and it would just spray water. And uh, the kids in the neighborhood would Seeing the fire truck and all the water, they would come, and, and you, you felt like you were doing something. Uh, today, that has radically changed. Uh, many departments have some pretty innovative ideas for cooling stations. I was uh, watching one uh, news feed where they had a uh, mass casualty bus that was turned into a cooling station that could take it to wherever it needed to be. Uh, part of it was open. They could use it for beds. Uh, obviously, it was air conditioned. Uh, they had hydration. Uh, so there's there's a whole host of things. There's rehab units. I know in D.C. Uh, when it got above a certain temperature, we would automatically send the rehab unit, uh, air condition, get those uh, folks in, in the cool after they were fighting the fire or taking care of the emergency. Uh, but um, there's a whole bunch of things for cooling stations. Misters are out there, cooling towels, uh, just a, a whole host of things. But what does that have to do? What about our faith? Uh, how, how can we relate this to our faith? In Acts chapter 3, verses 19 and 20, it says this, Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord, and that he may send the Messiah who has been appointed for you, uh, even Jesus. So that's Acts 3, 19 and 20. And uh, so here Peter and John were were going to the temple and uh, uh, in Solomon's porch just uh, just prior to coming to it. There was a disabled man who had been that way since birth and and uh, so Peter and, and John healed uh, the person. And, uh, well, news spread quickly uh, because of everything that Jesus had done. And uh, so a crowd gathered. Uh, Peter took the opportunity to share Christ uh, with the crowd. And so he quickly told them, hey, this is not my power that has healed this, this man. This is Christ's power. Uh, he's the one that was able to do it. And he, he did it so that he might glorify his name. And so when we read the, the verse there, uh, there's a sense that, uh, you know, when you come to Christ, when you're born again, when you become saved, because, you know, we're all sinners, uh, Acts uh, 3.23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, that God will give you this time of, of refreshing. Now, God's idea of refreshing is, is different than ours. Uh, it's way better than a cooling station that you might set up at, at a fire department. It is, uh, his idea of refreshing is, is this idea of renewing, of reviving, uh, and restoring of one's soul. And so, uh, and so Peter was challenging them to say, hey, uh, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. That's Acts 16.31. And we know the story of the, the jailer there who was about ready to take his own life. And Peter said, no, don't, don't do that. And uh, he said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and, and your house. And then there will be times of refreshing. Uh, uh, that God will give you as as he restores uh, you to a right relationship uh, with him. So do not wait another day. Um, you know, Christ is coming back. That verse uh, says that, that, that Christ may come back. He is coming back again. I know it's been over 2,000 years, but he's promised that he will, and he will come back. So do not wait another minute. If you uh, do not have a personal relationship with Christ, do it today. Have your sins forgiven and get this time of refreshing. Lord, forgive me for not living a life that is pleasing to you. Uh, that song that says, the world behind me, the cross before me, no turning back, uh, no turning back. So encouragement, it should be a standard operating guideline in every fire department.